Debris flying around and injuring people and entire streets that became rivers as municipal sewage systems failed to channel the heavy rainwater. In the previous years, seven people died in floodings in Israel. But why is Israel so malprepared to extreme weather conditions? Dr. Ori Sharon from Bar Ilan University Faculty of Law joins us now for more on that. And you're an environmental law and policy yes, expert. That's, that's right. So thank you very much for coming into our thank studio. Thank you for inviting me. Dr. Sharon. Uh, part of the problem is that we have destroyed many of the original streams in Israel that used to channel the water, the rainwater, um, to basins or to the sea. Right, and what we fill them with cement or construction? Yeah, that's that's only one. There's only one problem. There are basically three causes for these massive floods that we've been seeing. Uh, the first one you mentioned, right? Climate change. So since 1950, we've seen an increase in the um, intensity and frequency of uh, um, heavy precipitation events due to climate change. And and it's kind of like counterintuitive because when you think about climate change, you think it will have less rain, and we actually do have less rain. But instead of rain that is kind of scattered all over the winter, drizzle and light rain, we get heavy precipitation, you know, in like just a few days, just like we have right now. It's a raging storm so you don't feel it inside, but just like we have right now, so a lot of more, more rain in a few hours, that's a problem. We need and to manage it. It's bad for agriculture. It's bad it's for everything. It's bad for exactly. the soil because it can't absorb yeah, it, all of it that rain. Soil, soil erosion, so we, it, it's a damage for agriculture, to, to many things. And, and the second problem is, um, I would say, uh, population growth. So Israel is one of the, you know, it's the, we have the highest population growth rate in the OECD. Um, I think that we're kind of like nine, nine and a half million people right now. By 2040, we thought we're talking about almost 13 million people, so it's more than 30% increase in population in less than 20 years. And we need places, you know, people need where to live. So we've got an increase in urbanization. And what we are doing is we're creating a lot of impervious surfaces. So a lot of concrete. Rain used to go into the ground. We've got concrete everywhere. It has nowhere to go. So it collects on the surface, and we've got, you know, we've got surface runoff. And that surface runoff is the flood that we see. Okay. And, you and said, the third one. And the third one that you mentioned correctly is that nature provided us with an amazing system, amazing efficient system of drainage, streams, creeks, and rivers. But what we did in the last 70 years is basically to cover them with concrete. So we covered the, the bedding with concrete, the banks with concrete. We used to have, you know, these nice rivers that flow winding, flow in a winding way. They have they had flood plains that rain could collect. In, and then we narrowed them and we filled them with concrete and what we get is this straight water slides. That yeah. A lot of water comes in and goes very fast and it cannot collect a lot of water because we also, some of them we cover and we take the floodplains and we build on them. So the state is liable for those decisions that were made in the past. What can be done now in order to better the situation and the preparedness of Israel for these extreme weather conditions? So the first thing, we've got to restore our rivers and our streams. We've got to take them out of the concrete. We've got to you know, use nature-based solution to get back what nature gave us. And that's something that we've started to do. Many other countries are, are well invested in that and been doing that for many years, but we started doing that in Israel. We need to invest more money in river restoration. That's the first thing. The second thing is we need to manage drainage better. That means that municipalities in Israel need to prepare for what's coming. And hopefully getting policy uh, uh, makers like you involved. Thank you very much, Dr. Ori Sharon, for coming into our studio. Thank you.